Hi, it's Yuris and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk and today I will share with you one little trick in Photoshop or other somewhat powerful image editing tools. You just need to have certain filters in there and this have helped many of my realistic tattooist friends. So I'll share that tip with you. It's how to save a lot of time in making stencil. The main idea of this video is to turn pictures from this to this to print your stencils to make your life easier and to have result like this on a paper and like this on a stencil. There you go. Let's start from beginning. Let's find a picture of some animal. Let's find the most popular lion. We type in a Google lion. Boom. Let's go into images. To have a better picture, let's go into tools and let's search by size and let's look for a large image. Let's see what's up. This guy is pretty popular. Let's click on this one. Very nice large size image with a lot of detail. Let's save that one. Boom. I already have it, but this is just for demonstration. Boom. Then we go into our photo editing app. And we will make it look like this. Let's open it up. File. Open. And we have our creature. Ah, let's use the same one. Boom. Keep. Similar things would apply in Photoshop. I'm just new to this laptop. That's why I'm making this video. As you can see, I have a Stencil printer here, stencil printer here, stencil printer there. Plan was to make a video about stencil printers, but computer let me down, so I'm making this video instead. So let's crop this picture to the size that we want. For there, we don't need this side, and we don't need that side. Yep, let's delete unnecessary things right away. In this app and as well in Photoshop, you can change the size of eraser. So this is about right and hardness you want to put down so it's a bit softer on edges. Let's delete most of the things that we will not use. Now we need to desaturate the image. So let's go into colors. In Photoshop, it's an edit image in that department. And you go into saturation and you desaturate the image. That is fantastic. Let's copy the layer so we have a backup. Duplicate layer or in Photoshop pretty well works. Control A, Control C, Control V. It's my first day with this app on this MacBook. So I'm not really familiar how the details work and shortcuts and all that. I'm figuring this out on the fly. And now we go into filters. It's the same in Photoshop. You go into filters. In Photoshop you can find it in a filter gallery. Pretty easy. In the GIMP you go into filters. Then you go into artistic and you go to photocopy. In a Photoshop it's also called photocopy filter. I use GIMP because I don't want to pay for Photoshop on this Mac. But the idea applies the same. Why it's so big? I don't know why I can't zoom out on this one, but let's find some important detail. Like an eye. Boom. And here we can play around with mask radius, with sharpness and all other features. Same on a Photoshop. Just play around with sliders and see what's going on. And we press OK. Hmm, that's too light. Command Z. Filter. Artistic, photocopy, boom, boom, see how it looks on details, okay, and we have something like this, which some people can work with just as is, which is fine, but what we will do, we will make another copy from the layer. Duplicate. Let's move it above. Let's, let's go into levels. So here it's in color levels in Photoshop. Press Ctrl or Command L and let's just move the whites up here or down here so it's all a bit blown out and blacks up. Okay, and let's set 
blending mode to multiply same thing in Photoshop and bam we have somewhat close to the line and now we have this lion picture with all the blacks and all the little details if it's an issue we can erase a bit more of the things unnecessary say this branch here smaller brush bam bam let's see how stencil looks like let's print this bad boy out file print or command p on photoshop so we printed out this now we will manually cut the things unnecessary off cut stencil paper to the size a little tip here is to start to cut from the bottom so this part still holds the whole thing together because then you end up with less mess just lying around the shop because these things start to fall apart but when you keep the top where it should be things are a bit easier to manage some people leave the yellow part on some people take it off in my opinion it's a bit more gentle with it on and we'll use this thermocopier stencil machine it's on a setting kind of five and a half could have been much lighter let's try again so since this was too dark and I think it's my printer change levels colors levels white up and same on the other layer and this is a little trick if you use one of the pocket jets they don't like very black colors it starts to burn to it so you can reduce opacity of the top layer and see where that brings us usually around 70 to 80 works just fine one more and see how that will go print job image settings Move it there. Now with the second attempt we have this. I don't do realistic myself but my friends who does it they have appreciated this trick and it has saved them some time. The photocopy filter idea comes from a colleague I worked with many moons ago and adding the layer of black on top that I figured out myself I'm pretty sure that there are other people who have figured it out but I'm sharing what I know so boom boom somehow this thermocopier really likes the colors from the big biz hub Minolta printer which is nice because with some printers you have to be careful they don't even see the colors okay let's try at nine nice so this is what you end up with having which is pretty detailed you have all the little details all the fur all the whiskers all the highlights and all that jazz works really nice either it be photoshop or on mac i use gimp i don't know all the little things in a photoshop you can use tool where you select by color it's also on this app but I haven't figured out how it works because it's my first 20 minutes with this app the app is called GIMP and it's free on Mac so it's the photo editing tool okay that was my little trick I hope you will find it useful if you don't find it useful maybe you have that one colleague who spends hours drawing stencils and this trick might help them and save a couple hours in a day if you have some tricks or some comments to add please use the comment section and leave that down below if you would share this video that would be awesome and also don't forget to press all the buttons likes comments and all that good stuff see you in a future episodes thank you for watching